Have you ever wondered why so many old buildings, dating back to the early 20th or late 19th centuries, are predominantly made of brick or stone? This is especially true in cities. Take any one of these buildings, like a historic courthouse or industrial building that lines the streets of some American city, and I'll bet you at the very least that it's not made of wood. That wasn't always the case though, and the reason for the change from wooden structures to brick, stone, metal, or clay in US cities, but also in cities around the world, was fire. Welcome to Learn Something New by NFBA Journal. For as long as humans have been around to build cities, fire has been there to destroy them. In the year 64 AD, a massive fire raised over 70% of ancient Rome. In 1666, the Great Fire of London destroyed the homes of almost 90% of the entire city's population. With each urban conflagration, changes were often made to help prevent future tragedies. In the United States, while a number of blazes led to changes, perhaps the most significant was the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. It's been debated what caused the blaze. One enduring theory, which I personally favor for its sheer absurdity, is that a local farmer's cow kicked over a lantern as it was being milked. Whatever the cause, the results of the Great Chicago Fire were devastating. Strong winds fueled the flames, which effortlessly leapt from dry wooden building to dry wooden building. At the time, even the city's sidewalks were made of wood creating another catalyst for fire spread. In the end, 17,500 buildings were lost and 300 people died. The fire's footprint spanned four miles long by one mile wide. In the immediate wake of the fire, Chicago passed laws requiring new buildings in certain parts of the city be constructed with fireproof materials like bricks or stone. In other words, no more wood. In the years following the Chicago Fire, similar measures began showing up in sets of national recommendations on construction methods and fire safety. In 1873, for example, the National Association of Fire Engineers, which would later become the International Association of Fire Chiefs, published a list of fire protection concerns which included the use of combustible materials in construction. This switch from primarily wooden buildings to brick, stone, or steel in cities across the country did work to prevent these massive urban fires. In fact, it worked in Chicago just three years after the Great Fire when another blaze swept across the city. The fire stopped burning when it hit the newly built stone buildings in the business area, author Richard Bales said in a 2002 book he wrote on the Great Chicago Fire. Assume that there is no Chicago Fire of 1871. Then it is possible that the 1874 fire would have burned even more properties. Interestingly, today we're seeing a push towards more wood construction for large buildings like apartment complexes. While proponents of the practice say today's wood is engineered to be less of a fire hazard than traditional wood, others fear we're just yet again introducing the possibility of fires to burn out of control. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more great video content.